times all it is is we're helping promote somebody else's you know like the that's not our food bank but we try to gather people to uh to help so mm -hmm. that's another thing um and then this friday uh, i'll just mention this each week just as a reminder but um we up at our temple in oakland we have mm -hmm. the events and it's just such a, a powerful so i don't know if you haven't been up there andres you and your family or friends such a cool you can actually walk on the the rooftop there so this is a temple but you can walk up here and you can see the view of the the entire city if um you know if it's clear of course mm -hmm. but uh they have events um each week let me remove the uh just jump in if you if I'm missing something. Give me one second. I want to move. There we go. So yeah, so they have these free performances and events. Also, they light up, everything's lit up, like they do uh, uh lights on the grounds the time, and they have this big visitor center that you can go through and they have videos you can overlook the bay. Then that's all free. Um, but they do have, oh, look at there, here's some even Zoom things. They're going to do some storytellers if you like that. And then, okay, so here's here's some of the stuff. So you can go on the temple grounds and check out the Christmas lights that have, st they they start this uh, Friday. So you might, yeah, Friday. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so... Oh, Mahe, good to see you. i sorry I didn't, didn't see you. Jump in. Glad you made it. Um, yeah, so there's something every day. And when they say tickets, they're free. They just, it's in the, it's in a performance, uh, like auditorium, and they need to know how many so they can, uh, you know, they don't overbook it. If you happen to be up there and they had, a lot of times they can get you in, even if you go up. So I'll bring that up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so good. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. And in fact, I don't know when you got in. Got in. We were just sharing anything we found from the church news or um, anything you found. So I don't know if you made it when uh, we were doing that. But if you had something, uh, am I saying that? Is that am I saying your name, Mahe? Right, Mahe. I I thought. Okay, I thought it was for short. Okay, sorry, Mahe. I follow. <laughs> Mahe. One short, yeah, sorry. Wait. Anything from church news that you found, or if you if you had a chance to look? Oh.
Okay, excellent. Okay, great information. Thank you, Mahia. Um, okay, so let's just chat. Uh, let's go to that next part. So this one is, I think there's two questions from last week. Yeah, one is, uh, so what is the nature of God? And then um, what is, how do we distinguish between God, the eternal father and Jesus Christ? So i uh, give you just a couple of minutes. Um, I think we've all done, you've all done this. So you just go to the, the app and you can search the question. Uh, look up God. Uh, God, you look up God in uh, the steps. Speak minutes, and then let's, let's talk about these two questions: Is it God and passing between God and Christ? Because at least that, um, some religions believe that God, Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, one Trinity, in Catholicism. There. I'm going to mute real quick. I'm, I just got to um, take this a call real fast. So I'll be right back.
Okay, let's dive into this. Um, so the nature of God. Let's uh, let's talk about this one here. And there's a lot of directions we can go with that, but um, actually, before we start, let's just. What did you find? Was there anything that you found? You can unmute or however you want to do, if, uh, you know. The nature of God. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, Mahaya, please. So. Excellent. Yeah, and that's in the New Testament. So you can go search that up and uh, find all those verses um, that you're quoting or you're referring to. Great catch with that. So, um, yeah, so I, I think I'll add that there. So the uh, Oakland Temple, another plug for that visitors uh center what, what what would you call them again Mahaya? what what they're just like little are they videos or or quotes i can't remember it's been a while since i've been I 
Yeah, I've been there several times. I mean, we go to the temple, but the visitor center, I've been uh, just a few times. So I wonder if that's a newer program that they're doing. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. And and members and people of different faiths, we should all be going through it. That's what uh, that's what I like about. It. No, yeah, I, I definitely um, I definitely want to check it out and experience it that I, while you're looking at that beautiful statue and. Um, that's so cool with that. Ah, you did you work there? Were you a sister missionary there? Oh. That's I love that you go up there a bunch. Um, okay. That's so cool. Yeah. In fact, I've been to a, a musical performance in the visitor center. So I, I know what you're talking about, at least over the holidays. So uh, it sounds like they do it more than that. Um, so I know like speak Colby and Andres, I know Andres, you're clear, you know, you're in Salinas and things, but if you, you know, a lot of times people are looking for things to do and not just the holidays. I mean, the holidays are, are for sure. You got to go up there. But just like if you're going up to the city, you can make it where you go by the temple. You could just spend an hour even. You probably end up spending longer because the views are so phenomenal um, and just how peaceful the grounds are and the, the visitor center. But then you can go to Berkeley and go to dinner, um, even close to the temple. There's some great places to eat or just going across the bridge to the city. And so it's a great uh, place to, to go. and. Especially, you can't beat the price. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know. Oh, good point. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's right off of the 13. So if you're, so it's a nice part. It's a really nice part of Oakland. It's right up on the hill. So. Oh, uh, Fenton's. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mon yeah, Mon Montclair. Yeah, Montclair. That's good. Saturday, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, smart, really smart. Thanks for all that info, so helpful. All right, let's see. Uh, what else about these two questions that you found, Andres or Colby? What else did you uh, find on the app or your research of what the church believes in these questions? Well, I was looking at what the nature of God is. Okay. And um, well, in the uh, on the app, the topical guide, I mean, it gives a lot of different directions. So I wasn't quite sure where to start. You could go into uh, like a his love or his kindness or his aspect as the creator of the world. There's a lot of ways, lots of attributes of God that you could look into. And it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a big topic. Yeah. I didn't quite know where to start. Yeah. In fact, this question, I mean, the reality of the nature of God, um, the more we study it and it's a great topic to go, to dive into, I guess the, one of the questions is, is by understanding what the nature of God is. One of the questions you could ask in your studies is how can this like help me and give me more strength? Because we believe like the more we connect with heaven's help, we get that. And so that's a good focus in your personal studies. If you're kind of feeling like, man, I need to get a better connection with above this is a good way to go and a good place to start in the topical guide where you just start going through and you're reading quotes and scriptures about what we believe, who God our father is. And, uh, you know, that we believe that he, you know, we are created out of after the image of our heavenly parents, that uh, it's an actual being. We don't believe that God is like a mist or something that's not tangible. So it gives a little bit, you know, it, as far as practical, like I, you know, you think of the, a family structure here on earth, you see, you know, you've got father figures and mother figures. And um, if they're ones that are trying to do good and to be good, I mean, those are very powerful, uh, can be very powerful examples. And so for me, I'm like, okay, so that's, that's more understandable that a loving God, you know, wants me to be successful. And so um, that, that can be very powerful in times of struggle. Um, so thanks for catching that uh, Colby. That's um, yeah. A lot of angles with that. Yeah. Good. See Andres, anything uh, that you found in terms of, uh, either or both of these questions uh for, so the one i was going for was how do we st distinguish between god that's our father and jesus christ 
what I found was that pretty much the God is the father of our spirits and the Jesus Christ was the first, what's it called? Bestone, something like that. And that, what is it? Let me see if I could find it. Uh, person, let's see. That they're both unique in a sense, but Jesus Christ was pretty much the first son born of God in flesh. Whereas we were, like you mentioned, were born from our, what was it, spiritual parents and given like vessels on earth and everything. And that's pretty much just excellent. Also, a uh, quick question for the previous one. You mentioned that God like give us like challenges because I read something. And I was like, I forgot who it was testing. He was testing someone where he turned, I think, his wife into salt or something. And he was like, I forgot. Let me see. It yeah. was like something about giving us challenges, even though it may seem harsh. To truly understand, like, the challenge is actually the opposite because he's trying to, what is it, like, make us better or something like that? Yeah, yeah, great, great. Yeah, there's actually a couple of uh, scriptures with that. Um, Colby or Mahe, did you want to uh, talk about that? I can jump in as well. Do you want to uh, comment on the question? It's a great question. Yeah, yeah. So, let me see if I could find it first. Because, yeah, I think it was. that trial pretty much just a trial Yeah, what you mean. Excellent. Great, uh, great recap. Yeah, that's in the book of Genesis. If you go into like Genesis 19, it talks about uh, Lot, Lot's wife and uh, her temptation to go back. Um, there's a lot of uh, lessons to be learned. Um, and then your other part of the question was, uh, you know, does 
we have trials and you use the term that God gives us trials. Uh, you know, we have examples of the scriptures where like in the Old Testament where Job, you might have heard that story where there's a conversation between God and uh, actually the Savior and uh, the devil. And, you know, he's saying, hey, if Job had a rough time in life, a really rough time, I don't think he'd stay faithful. And and uh, Jehovah said, yeah, he would. And, uh, and so he loses it basically everything temporally and he still stays faithful and then it's eventually restored. And um, one of the key one of the key um, beliefs we have in the gospel of Jesus Christ is that we're here on this earth out of our heavenly parents presence to learn and grow and to experience opposition and trials. And we believe in those oppositions and trials, we have this great opportunity to grow in Christ. Like we're not doing it alone, that we can seek uh, heaven's help through uh, the atonement of Jesus Christ. Um, and that will strengthen us and teach us and that we can grow. Um, uh, you know, sometimes there's this feeling that, you know, did God give me this trial? And um, that's actually a longer discussion because we do believe that we are out of our heavenly parents' presence. We also believe in the power to choose. We call that agency and that we'll also have opposition. And so we're go we're allowed, you know, he's not going to jump in in terms of and, and and change things for us in this life because we, he wants us to grow. Simply put, it'd be like here you're coming into finals. Imagine if in finals the teacher comes in and says, hey, look, let me just give you all the answers. Now, you might be saying right now, that's awesome because I didn't study much. But in, in reality, we wouldn't want that. I mean, you don't go to college to get it all. I mean, you, you want to do the work and, 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 and grow and struggle. And so that's a, a little bit of a simple analogy that we're here to struggle and grow you could say maybe the teacher and, and your peers can be there to help us when we struggle. But, um, you know, why certain things happen, sometimes people really get caught up in that question. Now, if I make bad decisions, then, of course, there could potentially be bad things. You know, if I choose to drink and drive, then I'm bringing on some really potential uh, harm to myself and others. And you could say, well, why'd that happen? Well, yeah, that's easy. But then there's other times where stuff, things happen and it's just part of God allowing people to use their power to choose. And so going to that analogy of drinking and driving, I can't control if somebody does that. And if they choose to run a stop sign and hit me, then the, the issue is we believe that now we have an opportunity to grow and learn, um, you know, and so that's that's one of our main purposes in life is to prepare and grow so we can become more like the nature of our heavenly parents, like this name, become more loving, become more kind. Um, we use you, we've, uh, one, some of our leaders, uh, his name's Elder Uchtdorf, he's a 12 apostle, apostle, uh, one of our 12 apostles. He said, you know, we're here growing our divine DNA. So just like, again, think of a semester, you're ex hopefully experiencing growth in the struggle and in the study. And that is really what we believe life is about it's like a lifelong class but we consistently have help anyway uh, anybody jump in what else would you like to add or take away or questions it's a great question by the way andres thank you for asking yeah i don't know i that's pretty succinct and comprehensive summary of it all i don't really i don't really have much to add okay Well, good questions um, and great. Thanks for studying and, and getting on and participating so well. Uh, um, so grateful that uh, you're with us and uh, I hope you have a wonderful week just full of uh, added gratitude. It's a nice time to hopefully you'll get some time to reflect and uh, things are high paced that you can slow down a little bit, at least for maybe part of a day or 
and uh, express gratitude both verbally, maybe by doing something. This is such a nice time of year. People, this is a hard time of year for many and a very beautiful time of year for others and a little bit of both. And so it's a good time to pay attention to thinking about others and what we can do to uh, to bless others, which shows our gratitude. So anyway, thank you for being here. And um, let's see, uh, I, I don't know who prayed last. I can't remember who prayed last week. But uh, Colby, are we back to you? I I just can't remember. Well, I mean, I think you were the one who prayed last. Oh, I prayed week, last so week because I would, think gone for it a would while. restart the cycle, which okay. I guess would be me. <laughs> are, is that okay? Would you mind closing us off with a word of prayer? Sure, I can do that. Okay, thanks. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful for today, and we're grateful for the lesson that was prepared for us, and. We're thankful that we could all be here and enjoy the lesson and that we'll soon have Thanksgiving to uh, to give thanks for all we have and hopefully spend some time with family and and enjoy our time with them. And we asked for uh, we asked for your safety during this time and we say these things in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hey, thank you. And uh, we'll look forward to, to uh, seeing you or hearing you next uh, next Monday if you can't be here in person. And then uh, tomorrow night, if you want to jump on at, or come in person or jump on same link at 7 p.m. for the eternal family class that is happening tomorrow night. I think, Andres, you're probably going to be there. And then. Yeah. Um, yeah. If uh, you're welcome. Uh, Colby and Mahia, of course, to jump in. But otherwise, I'll see the rest of you uh, next uh, Monday. Uh, uh, the Eternal Family. No, we, relationships, building healthy relationships. And then, yeah, so the, it's the manual is the Eternal Family, but we're trying to take a focus of whether it's if you're dating someone or you want to do better with your family relationships, work relationships, life in general, we kind of, uh, you know, say apply it wherever you need. Uh, it is, it is, it's under, yeah. If you go to Institute here, I'll show you real quick. If you need to take off Andres and Colby, um, great seeing you. For having you, you join us. Yeah, thank well, you for this lesson. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Right, see you next week. Excellent. All right. Let's go to Gospel Library Institute. Sorry, I got to move the. Books and Lessons and then Institute. Books and Lessons and Institute. And then uh, the eternal family. Now, be sure to go to, there's two of them. See, there's the one with the purple and then the blue. The blue is the, let me make sure that's the most updated one, go to the title page. Yeah, that's the one you want to go to, the blue one. I don't know why they kept the other one on. They just updated the manual, but this is, so you have the uh, class preparation material and then you have the teacher material. So Elder Brown is running this discussion. So I'm not sure which one, but he's taking principles from these lessons. So you can see it's everything from marriage to, you know, LGB, LGBTQ, the whole thing, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, seven to eight. It's the same Zoom link. And then they also meet in person if you're ever in the area. Okay. Uh, great. All right, Mahe, have a great uh, day and a great week. Thanks for jumping on. And then, Joanne, if you would stay on we, so we can chat, that'll be great. Good. Okay. Bye, Mahe.